okay, I'm doing another one of my videos. I said I was going to do a weekly video in my video uh, um, series. Anyway, try to ignore, please try to ignore the big, big ass pimple on my, in the middle, it makes me look like a unicorn. Um, I was going to play Call of Duty on my PlayStation 4, and I was reminded of one of the things that I do not like about the current video game consoles. It's actually something we've been having to deal with for a while now, the updates. I was going to play Call of Duty, and there was a big-ass update, which would take forever because my internet is kind of slow. So I was like, well, let me try let me try Avengers. As soon as I boot up Avengers, guess what? Another update. So I don't know if you can see, I said, well, let me try Sackboy, the little big planet spinoff game. And there's an update for that. And that update hasn't even started because Call of Duty and the Avengers is updating. So I'm just like, oh, what the? F so I don't know. I, I, I want to try to play Miles Morales, but I feel like there might be an update for that too. I don't know. Anyway. This is like the last week. Uh, well, no, no, there's still, I guess, still two more weeks left before 2020 is officially over. Um, and it's, uh, it's been a lot of stuff that's been going on the last few weeks. Uh, the the uh, lockdown is still in effect here in, in, in L.A., I, um, California, I guess. A lot of things are going on. A lot of stuff is going on. Restaurants are still not letting people dine out. And um, uh, businesses are still being affected. Uh, a lot of people are still out of work. They did uh, agree on a stimulus package, finally, which I, was, I wasn't I was really expecting. But it looks like they're going to give people $600 again. Uh, which is, you know, uh, the one, the twelve hundred they did the first time. I guess they supposedly Donald Trump was actually trying to get more money, but I guess they don't supposedly have the money. So I don't know. It's all crazy. <laughs> and speaking of Donald Trump, um, even though he lost the election, he's still saying that the election was stolen, with no real evidence that it was stolen. Um, he put up a really good fight. Um, I've never in my lifetime, in my 51 years of being on this planet, seen someone fight so hard to concede. Um, definitely has not been a peaceful transition of power. and uh, But a lot of Republicans are starting to just finally accept Biden as the new president. But I don't know what Donald Trump is going to do because um, <laughs> it's just... It's just been like a damn circus. Um, I, I, I don't expect him to go quietly into the night. I'll just put it that way. I mean, God knows. Uh, but, um, yeah, so I guess we just have to wait to see what happens with that. Uh, and um, but So the vaccine for the COVID um uh, is now being given to elderly people and people that work in the medical field. So the nightmare is kind of over. We're getting closer to being over. Um, I think that most regular people are probably going to start getting the vaccine maybe in, around April or March. Probably April, more realistically, because they got to like they got to give it to the to the people that are older and medical people. It's gonna take a while, and then I heard some stuff about side effects, like nothing, nothing serious, um, allergic reactions. Um, I think something uh, affecting. I guess people supposedly some people had like numbness on their face or something. Um, you know, they really rolled this this vaccine out pretty quickly, so uh, of course there's gonna be some side effects. But a lot of people. Um, don't want to take the vaccine and some people I know don't want to take it um, kind of on the fence myself I mean uh, I honestly feel like a lot of people have been exposed already and are just immune most people are, are immune they say that 98% I think 
98 percent is a high number of people are just immune and that percentage that is not immune still billions of people um, or millions of people uh, my job was affected uh, we actually had to do a quarantine um, so uh, well some of the people that are residing in the shelter at my job are quarantined they can't leave for the, they can't leave the building for two weeks so that happened I'm still getting over my uh, my big uh, incident that happened I actually had an incident at my job involving a co-worker that really just kind of messed me up for for a couple of months my anxiety kicked back in and uh, just when I was starting to recover from that I had another incident with another co-worker so I'm just like I know that it's getting close to the time when I'm gonna have to start looking I don't know, maybe it's a result of this stuff that's going on in the world that's making people kind of crazy. But I've been talking about transitioning out of my job into uh, something creative, a creative feel. I mean, I write and I'm, you know, working on my film stuff, working on my comic book right now. And uh, it's getting close to that time. I feel like it would be, I need to be in a, in, in a like a creative environment. Um, just the whole nine to five thing has just gotten tired so maybe mid next year right before summertime I um, just have to save up my money work on my projects you know just try to keep a low profile um, you know, it's really kind of crazy there's a lot of stuff going on and people are under pressure dealing with personal things personal demons and then we got uh you know this covid thing going on it's affecting stuff tom cruise snapping on people you know even though i could understand where he was coming from he went off on some people <laughs> still really difficult um i mean he went off on people because of because of covid i guess people were not adhering to some some of the uh rules social distance distancing and all that and um it's still difficult to find a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series S. I got my um, Series S, which was like a miracle. Um, the next Cyberpunk game came out, and um, there just been like a real disaster for the company. It's probably going to end up costing them billions of dollars because they released a game that was really buggy. I've been able to play the game on my Series S, so apparently the Series S and the Series X, the PlayStation 5, PC, and surprisingly the Google Stadia are like um, good places to play the game. And you, But if you play it on the Xbox One or the Xbox um, One X or S and the PlayStation 4, you're going to run into a lot of problems, with a lot of bugs and glitches, systems crashing, corrupts being um, saves being corrupted. I played a few times and I saw characters walk through doors, just weird stuff. Uh, there was one part in the game where I couldn't progress. Kept telling me I needed to do something. I needed to talk to somebody, which I'd already done. I'm walking around trying to figure out what to do. Um, just weird, weird stuff. And um, speaking of weird stuff, I've been playing Avengers. It's a game that a lot of people have abandoned. And I had some weird glitches in Avengers too. Uh, Avengers was definitely a game that could have could have used some more time in the oven to bake. But they've been adding a lot of stuff. Supposedly Black Panther is coming. Spider-Man is coming exclusively for the PlayStation 4. But it's going to be um, probably, I don't know, I would imagine... It may be timed exclusive. They may later make Spider-Man available. But right now they... They uh, released a character named Kate Bishop. So I'm like, yeah, I mean, I got used to playing as as uh, Kamala Khan, the uh, Pakistani girl with the uh, molecule control powers that she's got, or she stretches her body, <clears throat> stretches her body and stuff. Um, but I don't know. There's so many cool characters that Marvel has. You know, I I don't know. Like, why Kate Bishop? I mean, she's she 
kind of reminds me of Black Widow. I mean, she teleports, she shoots arrows, and she's got a sword. But I mean, I I would have picked someone else. I don't know. And and I mean, I Kamala Khan is cool, but it would have been cool, you know, if they had another character too that they could maybe not force you to play as much with her. But I didn't. I did actually grow to like her character, um, and her power set is 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 interesting. There were some some of her powers that they didn't really explore because she can actually shrink she could turn a little but they didn't utilize that power at all in the game all she did was she stretched mostly she grew big um she can turn big and um you know she can stretch her fist and like punch you from like a mile away i mean you know but she's uh you know i got i, I would have liked to have seen some other characters i don't know like maybe some of the characters that they're going to be doing in the uh introducing in the, in the mcu pretty soon master of kung fu maybe maybe submariner i don't know i mean there's so many marvel characters marvel and dc have a lot of characters that they don't really focus they don't really give attention to but i think that dc is dc probably does a better job of it to me because they've got all the cw shows and they've got all the you know uh cartoons and things i just think i think marvel beats dc with with the movies and uh i would say the tv shows um dc uh does better but uh marvel has actually gotten better there's a lot of stuff i actually got the disney plus hulu package and i was thinking about getting rid of it but it's a good idea to because to keep that if you are into the marvel stuff because a lot of stuff that's going to be going on in the tv shows is going to be affecting the movies and um it's a lot of i don't know dc has had like their they did their uh dc universe and it just um i guess they are turning their disney universe thing into um I'm sorry disney universe dc universe they're turning it pretty much into comic books based and migrating a lot of their stuff over to hbo and uh i'm sure everybody knows even on mars that wonder woman is going to be premiering on christmas so i i kept my hbo subscription because of that and i'm trying to finish up lovecraft i don't know if i'm going to keep hbo um maybe it might be a good idea since a lot of the movies I guess all of the Warner Brothers movies that are coming in 2021 are going to be on the on on HBO, and that caused some controversy. So I would rather pay $15 a month to watch a bunch of movies than having to pay $15 every time I go to the movie. So it just kind of makes sense to keep it. But I don't know. I sometimes get overwhelmed with Netflix and Hulu and Disney. I got rid of Amazon, but I thought about getting Amazon back because of the free shipping and. So I don't know, I just, you know, it's only like $10, $5 here. You know, I think the Hulu was five ninety nine a month. Then I just got the Disney Plus package with Hulu and ESPN. It's just $12. And uh, Netflix is $15. And it doesn't really seem like a lot. But then when you add another $10, another $15, those, it adds up to what, when you see how much you're paying by the end of the year. And I know a lot of people pay hundreds of dollars for cable, which I don't understand. Um, it's just kind of weird. Uh, it's expensive when you're paying for all of these different things. Um, then you pay on top of your phone bill. It, it can get costly. And then you got to pay for your internet. And then there's Xbox Live and there's PlayStation Plus and then there's Google Stadia and Nintendo has their service. So I've just been cutting trying to cut down on stuff so right now i'm just definitely keeping netflix and the disney hulu um package i don't care about espn even though they do have hot guys on it sometimes i do watch i admit i do watch some of the sports because of that but not so much into espn if i could swap out espn for something else that would be really nice but for now i'm just pretty much stuck with it with the channel that I won't be using. I did try the Apple TV to watch some of their stuff. But I'm, I'm you know, I'm just, uh, I think I did the trial. I hope I didn't forget that. Nah, I did the trial. I did watch some of their shows. But right now, Apple TV doesn't really have anything 
that I'm that to me is worth keeping. I did like C though. C was interesting. I was surprised that I really got into that. <laughs> and I watched the first episode and then the second episode plays right after and then you're just like, you know, they get you hooked. Cuz it's, it's a pretty pretty good concept. Everybody's blind because of something that happened and uh it's a really interesting concept. I didn't care that much for Night Shyamalan's show and um something else I think they had like a, some other shows but uh so uh Shudder Shudder's another one that I was starting to get interested I like horror stuff but I don't know if I really want to pay for another streaming service because like I said it those little things add up so I'm waiting for this these updates I don't know what I'm gonna do maybe I might try to play something that doesn't have I want to play something on my PlayStation because I usually use I usually my PlayStation is usually my weekend system so I was on Cyberpunk last night pretty late um, I wanted to get back to playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 on the switch and my switch is like sitting in its dock <laughs> I was gonna play some Mario Kart I was thinking about that but since these things are doing updates, my internet is going really slow now, so I know what it'll be like trying to play Mario Kart. It'll be running really, really slow, and, and probably <laughs> probably lose my connection a few times. Just got to remember to pay my internet this before this month is out. Um, but as far as Cyberpunk goes, I really, I, I, I'm not gonna try to get a refund or anything. PlayStation did pull the game from their store. Uh, and I, I guess everybody's offering refunds at this point because of all the glitches and bugs. But ho hopefully, you know, they'll fix all of the glitches and bugs. Because there's one particular bug that I've, I've been hearing a lot about. I'm a little worried. Your your save files can get corrupted if you save. If your save is, I forget how many meg megabytes. So I'm worried about that. Um, so... Um, I don't think there's anything else that I need to cover. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for Christmas. I haven't really made any plans. It would be nice to go out of town. But I did. I, I took a flight earlier this year, and it's just wearing a mask, and you can't. They don't serve you food on the plane, and just putting all your stuff in these like cases. You know, those little trays to go through the X-ray machine. I don't I think they should be spraying those things down with Lysol. And um. And when you take your mask off to eat, everybody's like, you know, you just feel all the eyes on you, like you're just breaking some kind of law. I'm still bouncing back to, I had like a slight, like a slight uh, cold. I don't know. I, I mean, I may take a day off of work. I don't know. I'm still not feeling completely 100%. Because like I said, I've been, I've been stressed out over some stuff. Just trying to get myself focused on my, you know, stay focused on projects. I've been working on my comic book, as you know. I've been posting stuff, and I'm gonna get back to filming again. But that's gotten a little complicated because they passed some new laws because of stuff that was going on with Uber and Lyft wanting to get more pay and benefits. And uh, that's affecting, the, the law actually affected other businesses as well. So when you film, there's like a lot of rules and regulations, things that you have to do now and how you, things that you have to do differently and how you hire people. And uh, yeah, and then you got to have a COVID person on set. <sighs> Insurance, I mean, it's a lot, it, it's a real mess actually. I mean, it's just, I, myself, um, I supported the, you know, the those new laws that they were trying to implement to, to protect Uber and Lyft, but it's almost like in the fine print there were other things that were going on, and um, so it's it's a double-edged sword. So um, I'm working with a producer, and uh, I uh, she's probably going to be my director, and she's going to work with me on the script. So I'm still hoping that I can go back into production on my stuff, and uh, hopefully. If not in January, definitely by February. So in the meantime, I got to work on the script and, and, and make sure when I write, I keep in mind the new limitations and the new laws and 
insurance and all these other things I got to worry about now that I really didn't have to worry so much about being an independent production. But uh, so that's where I am right now. So the comic book is the comic book is probably going to be done by February because I've got four different stories and I've got artists working constantly, consistently. I've, I've been showing stuff from the comic books, but I'm not going to show too much more because I don't want to give away everything, obviously. <laughs> so what's the point? But I will be introducing something new that will be free to people just to keep my creative juices flowing. A new comic strip project that I want to work on. So I'm going to talk with my artists this week. And uh, I just started jotting down some ideas. I think it's a really interesting concept. I'm not going to say anything about it. It's going to be kind of a surprise when you see the first few pages. Um, but I think it's, it's interesting. And it's a really slick way for me to get out an, another concept also. It's really me mixing uh, two different projects together, two different concepts together. And... Um, I think it, it's something different. Um, as far as the video game world goes right now, everybody's trying to get a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox Series X or S. And I think people have been able to get Nintendo Switches. They've kind of slowed down. They're more, I guess everybody's focusing on the next-gen systems. Uh, but... You know, the Stadia is actually, the Stadia and the Nintendo Switch, I've, you know, those systems really rose to the occasion this year. And the, you know, and the streaming technology is starting to, to, to take a hold. I guess I'll talk more about that later. Um, until my next video, happy holidays to everyone. Happy Christmas and Merry New Year.